Today we're gonna be talking about 10 things serious players do in Call of Duty Zombies and we're joined by none other than my neighbor Tony. Now a quick little nose dive into Tony's life, you probably don't care but trust me, you're gonna wanna care. Now Tony makes decisions based on one and only thing. Whatever he wants to do, he thinks about it first, very important, and he adds, why be stupid? And if the answer is it's stupid, he will drop that instantly and move on. And another big thing about Tony is that memes don't exist for him. He would never watch, and I repeat before even saying the whole thing, I repeat the shit out of it till you get it. He would never watch anyone with personality. And you think he will watch this Bob looking guy? No, 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 he would rather watch the legend, the relaxing end, because Tony consider him his zombies guru. And I'm sitting here patiently waiting for the relaxing end to do his voice reveal. I so badly want to hear him say, hello guys, it's your relaxing end here, and welcome back to another one of my videos. One like equal one prayer, and ladies and gentlemen, that's who Tony is. And real quick, let me know one thing a serious zombies player would do in Call of Duty Zombies in the comments below for the next episode. Doesn't have to be a pro thing, but definitely has to be something very serious. And hey, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and let me know that too in the comments so I can feature you in my next video. But coming in at our number 10 spot now, ladies and gentlemen, Tony will never play with randoms just because he doesn't want to risk having Bob in his game. Every time he's hovering over that uh, play or public game or mad it doesn't matter right every time he's hovering over that he will think to himself he's like why be stupid and as soon as he thinks about it he's like I'm not gonna play with randoms I would rather play solo and that's who Tony is he plays solo a lot but sometimes he plays with his friends so let's say he's playing with his friends and guess what his friends are acting like Bob he will still be able to carry them and be compatible because he has natural instincts he's so serious that even he got Bob in his games he will try to avoid having Bob because of course like why be stupid but if he got Bob in his game he got natural instincts he's round 100 ready he will have no problem whatsoever because he is super serious because he knows how to process information at a faster rate he will make decision faster than 10 light years I'm, I know I'm exaggerating but you know what I'm saying right he will make decision faster than 10 light years that's who Tony is now coming in at our number nine spot now he is so serious that he will take enormous amount of time just to set up his gobblegum pack depending on what map he plays very important because before jumping in on the game he always thinks like why be stupid and start a game before setting up the gobblegum because hey it's a given track has given this to us right so he will actually take a lot of time to actually set up his gobble game and let's say if he's playing like Kino the Retoner which is my favorite map let me know your favorite map in the comments very important let's be serious all right uh, so let's say he's playing Kino the Retoner he will set up his gobblegum and he will make sure that he doesn't have perkaholic because of course Kinother Totem, it's very easy. But let's say he's about to play Origins, he will make sure he got that free shopping gobblegum because he loves free shopping. Because if he can do free shopping with free shopping gobblegum in Origins, he knows he will have that one up and he will be able to save time like there's no tomorrow. And he will also have Perkaholic and self medication gobblegum because he values that a lot. He is super serious with it. He want to have a lot of perks, uh, all the perks. On round one, he wanna be able to save all those parts by having self-medication later on as well. He will make sure he got in plain sight, all that sort of jazz, but he will make sure that he set up his gobblegum depending on what map he plays, and he will do that prior to being in a game. It's very important. But coming in at our number eight spot now, he is so goddamn serious that as soon as he gets in a game, he will maximize his points, all right? Eight shot, and he will finish those zombies up with a ba, aka he will knife them to maximize his points. Now, he will not buy a wall gun till his MR6 is fully done, or M1911. He will make sure that round one is all consists of eight shots in the leg and a knife at the end. And after that, as soon as he runs out of ammo, he will buy that RK5 because he knows RK5 only costs 500 points and comes in with some good amount of ammo, right? And he will actually gonna be able to maximize a lot of points and he will be able to make a ton of points with my Neba RK5. He's so serious. Coming in at our number seven spot now, if Tony is playing with randoms or if he's playing with uh, uh, his friends on Shadows of Evil, he will do rituals with style. Very important. He will do all those rituals with a guy damn style he will make sure he got a good gun and not only that he will do a call out he'll be like guys 
I'm about to do ritual get your ass here I mean he's not gonna say that because he's super serious so he will be actually really professional he will be like guys I'm about to do ritual just come on let's actually get done with this fast as FB because he wants everyone to have a lot of points because of course if other people gets points he will be able to tell them to open this door that door and that door you know what I'm saying it is just not a meme because Tony don't like memes but coming in at our number six spot now Tony will buy jug like he has never bought anything before he will buy juggernaut this is gonna be like his first perk right doesn't matter doesn't matter if he's playing solo or if he's playing with uh, multiple people if he's playing solo then of course he will buy that quick revive he's super serious with it right he knows his game he got game though he got game he really got game Carlos do got a lot more game than uh, Tony but at the same time Tony is like super serious and he got game as well but he will buy quick revive and he will buy juggernaut like he has never bought before but coming in at our number five spot now while Tony is playing shadows of evil he will make sure that he knows what he's doing let's say on round one hey you can actually shoot the shadow man and be on round 15 right very important this is something very serious for him he knows that if we shoot him he will be on round five and if you shoot him once again he will be on round 10 and if you shoot him once again he will be on round 15 right and if he does that he he's most likely gonna do that because he likes to save time and he's uh, a little bit professional but uh, mo more importantly he is serious AF so if you do that he will take precaution he knows what is coming next he knows sometime Margot can spawn in sometime honeybees can spawn in sometimes he may go down but hey he will never go down he's super serious so he will actually process all that information and he will be like why be stupid uh, and do that and sometimes he, he does that because uh, hey you know what I'm saying like Tony is Tony right but he will not do anything stupid that's what I'm trying to say I know it's mind-boggling but guys Damn, Tony knows what's up. But coming in at our number four spot, now he doesn't F around. He will get little equipments like trip mines early on to save people asses because that is something he values a lot in his life Tony knows his shit all right he will get those trip mines he will get those monkey bombs because hey surprise surprise he's about to get stuck or someone have been down he will throw those monkey bombs and he will throw those trip mines as well because let's say there's insta kill in front of him so he will take that and he will throw those trip mines he will not f around he is not about any meme but coming in at our number three spot now if Tony is playing the rise and draft you better believe he will always get that panzer helmet now one panzer helmet or one thing you need to do would be like shooting this thing near stamina up and one would be near wonder's location and another one will be near quick revive now he will shoot that and he will make sure a panzer would die because of like him shooting that panzer claw so he can get that panzer claw helmet on top of his head it is very important he will get that shit as fast as humanly possible because he knows that if he gets that he will be able to play very very effectively um um he will be able to survive when there are panzer around um um if he's about to do that easter egg he will be able to finish that easter egg um um if he want to go to round 100 he will be able to do that very serious very professional and this is not a meme to him but coming in at our number two spot now he will use candy on the mystery box when he's playing buried now talk about irony now i made a video last night if you have missed that video definitely check it out it's a quality ass video ride but he will always use candy on the mystery box and he'll make sure that the box stays where it needs to stay where the box would originally spawn in that's where he wants the box to stay very important now he will take the candy first of all he will release my boy Arthur right as soon as he released that he will actually click bit yeah even Tony would click bit my Niba uh, my my Niba Arthur right so he will click bit him he will actually give the candy to Arthur so Arthur can actually do his voodoo magic and what it doesn't matter right? it doesn't matter he will make sure that uh, uh, Arthur do that shit on the box so the box actually stays there permanently and surprise surprise if he's playing with other people he wants other people to benefit he want other people to be able to hit the box and get good guns out of it because if other people have good guns and if Tony got good guns of course Tony will have good guns but if other people have good guns then that means round 100 incoming but coming in at our number one spot Tony will never die you hear me Tony will not die in this thing called Call of Duty Zombies because if he does 
he would have to go outside and witness real life, which God forbids, right? But check out some other videos on the screen if you have missed any of them. Subscribe if you happen to be new. And hey, if you did enjoy this video, smash a like and let me know one thing a serious homeboy would do for the next episode. And I'll see you very freaking soon.